Yeah, hello friends, we have a, a very senior education uh, personality, uh, Dr. Amit Kantara. He is the provost of one of the premium institutions of Gujarat, Parul University from Vadodara. We are welcome you in today's forum, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure uh, and thank you so much for uh, providing the opportunity to interact all of you, with all of you. Thank you. Pleasure, pleasure is ours, sir. Uh, Dr. Amit, uh, uh, would you like to highlight some of the initiatives under your leaderships of Parul University? Yes, sir. Uh, so right now our focus is on skill uh, development at Parul University and what we have done is we have uh, remodeled our curriculum and started uh, remodeling our curriculum and uh, right now we have decided to go for two third that is 66 percent of uh, practical uh, credits that is practical weightage is going to be almost uh, 60 to 70 percent okay. and theories are going to be lesser so this is uh, one of the important uh, feature of NEP skill based education. Uh, we want to make our curriculum uh, that is modern, up-to-date, uh, mm -hmm. global mm -hmm. and we have explored so many universities, uh, we have contacted so many of our alumni, mm -hmm. uh, we have consulted number of industry people also mm -hmm. and we have tried to reorient our curriculum based on the need of the society. So uh, in future students are going to get relevant skill which is I think missing in today's uh, most of the curriculum. So right skill we are going to provide uh, to the students so that uh, they can be made job ready and it's not only about corporate or industry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we would like to give equal emphasis on uh, like providing the opportunities to work for the students in education, mm -hmm. in government, like Indian Army, Indian Navy, you see that so many uh, opportunities are there, a lot of retirement is there in the next two to three years. Mm -hmm. So we want to make uh, them good citizen, good global citizen rather than just uh, any graduate from the university. Yes. yes. Sir, uh, apart from the regular, uh, regular curriculum, how is hard skill and soft skill important? Uh, like it, both are equally important and I don't think everybody is lacking for all kind of skill. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a patient doctor kind of thing. We need to find out which skill in which uh, the students are lacking and uh, based on that like mentors have the, have the responsibility. Mm -hmm. They have to find out the uh, appropriate skill which are missing and they are responsible to install. So they in turn will uh, discuss with the dean and uh, they are going to arrange the session and this groupism can be done and based on that the lacking skill are required to be provided. But it, it is both, both are very much essential. So interpersonal skills, soft skills, internal qualities are equally important because now you see most of the students are filtered in HR round and we want to restrict that, right? So due to HR uh, issues, uh, students should not uh, get rejected. This is our prime motto. Right. Yes. So uh, once a person uh, or a student enrolls into a higher education, sir, he is definitely looking for a placement. So uh, 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 how are you ready or how are you uh, helping your placement team and students to actually strengthen that division? Sir, basically we do career counselling in fifth semester and we would, uh, means we are asking them whether they want to pursue a further study, they want to go for higher education, they want to go, go for job, immediate job or they want to uh, start their own business and accordingly we are more going to mould them. So we start uh, from fifth semester and accordingly we prepare like those who want immediate job or entry level job, we prepare them separately, those who want to become entrepreneur, there is SSIP cell and all, they are uh, having initiative by their own and they are preparing for that and those who want to go for government job, research organisation and all, uh, there is a separate preparation for them. So as we have gathered together on a new normal education leadership summit and awards, sir, according to you, what is the word new normal to be defined? Uh, you see that after pandemic, we have started becoming normal now, right? So it is a new normal is a very relevant word, sir, what you have kept. So I again appreciate you on, uh, I was also thinking uh, when I heard first time this word and then I thought okay, after pandemic, everything has to be now uh, work exactly like the way we were working. So we have started becoming normal and it's a new normal because uh, nothing has been realized like such kind of pandemic will be there in, uh, and we are going to work like online and all. Literally, uh, we need to provide training and people were reluctant like uh, digital initiative for which I was uh, doing the training for other branches, faculty. No one was coming like Google and Google Classroom and Moodle and all. People were reluctant in adopting and due to that people have started adopting all technologies. Yes, yes, yes. So new normal is very relevant word because after pandemic, we have started becoming normal and it's a new beginning. Absolutely. So I appreciate you for this new uh, normal keyword and yes. very relevant and uh, thank you for uh, inviting us. Sir, anyway. sir uh, I'm happy to share that we recently celebrated our first anniversary and few of the highlights of uh, what we have been done throughout the year. Uh, any message would you like to give for Ardo Comedia? Uh, yes, sir. We have to upgrade and uh, update ourselves. We have to be recent and we should be future ready. I think no option is left with me also and no option is left with us also. So we have to be flexible, uh, we have to be open-minded and we have to be future ready. Right? So always we have to ask, are we future ready? 
anybody who is with, not only from your side, in our community also. See, if I'm not going to adopt the technology, I'll be replaced by the person who is knowing the technology. So this is what it is. It was a pleasure having you on the event today, sir. Thank you for your valuable time. It's really honored, sir, to be associated with you, and thank you for providing the opportunity to interact with all of you. Thank you so much, sir. Wish you all the best.